Welcome, in this video I'll show you how to fix Xbox app if it's not working or opening here on either Windows 10 or 11, okay? So first up, go ahead and go to your search bar and type in store, okay? Go ahead and click on Microsoft Store, open it up, once done, go ahead and find Xbox app, like so, hit on enter, wait for it to load and once it loads, click on Xbox, and if you have and update button right here. You just gotta click on update once, wait for it to finish, and once done, go ahead and check it out if it helps. Okay. If that won't work, go ahead and go to your search bar and type in Xbox. Here we have the Xbox app. Right click on it and click on app settings. Okay. And here you just gotta scroll down until you find a terminate. Click on it. And once done, click on reset. Okay. Wait for the process to finish. And once done, go ahead and restart the computer. And after that, I'll check if it helps. And if that doesn't work, don't worry, I still have an option for you. Okay? Go ahead and go to your search bar and type in services, like so. Click on it. Wait for it to open. And once it's open, go ahead and scroll all the way down until you find the letter X. All right? Whenever you see an Xbox related service right here, for example, these one, two, three, four. So just go ahead and click on it, right click, properties. Instead of a manual, here under startup type, make sure that everything right here is set to automatic. Once done, hit on apply, and then hit on OK. This one will close. Do the same with any other Xbox related services right here, OK? So going back, once that's done, go ahead and check if it helps. If that still will work, go to your search bar and type in PowerShell, OK? Go ahead and uh, right click on it and click on Run as Administrator. That will be a pop-up. Just click on yes. And here I have codes in the description. You can go ahead and copy the first code, which is remove AppX package. Now click on the PowerShell, Control V to paste the command. Okay. Once done, just hit on enter. Wait for it. And as you can see here, it's done. Once done, go ahead and copy the second code in the description. Paste that in here. Hit enter. Status here is okay. Type an exit, enter, and it will close. Once that's done, go ahead and restart the computer once more. And after that, you should be good to go. But well, I hope this video helps, and I'll see you in the next one.